Welcome to Country Car, my name's Tom. Here we have a gorgeous BMW 1 Series. This is a 2 litre, it's diesel, it's about 70,000 miles. It's an automatic, it's got front and rear parking sensors, it gives you graphic display as well so you know exactly where you are. Gorgeous BMW alloy wheels, obviously, this is a three door. Have a look in the boot, see what's what. Good amount of space in there with the floor mats. Those rear seats also fold down as well. On top of that you've got a parcel shelf. Inside the car, plenty of space back there. There is five seats. Isofix there as well. So it's keyless start, so all you need to do is just have the key on your person or in the car, in your handbag or in your pocket, whatever, and then put your foot on the brake, hold on to the start button for a couple of seconds, and away you go. Above that you've got your start stop, so if you the traffic lights, the car turns off to save fuel, then you can stop that from happening by pressing that button. Automatic gearbox is used with this so you squeeze the trigger down pull it down to drive and away you go alternatively you can knock it over that puts you in sport mode and then as soon as you start using up and down that starts your tiptronic so you can change the gear as you see fit reverse there you have your graphic for your parking sensors and on top of that you've also got your paddle shift gears push that button there, goes back into park and then your handbrake as usual. We've got different modes for the engine including an eco mode which shows you your readout, tells you how much fuel you're saving to 0, 0.0, I'm not saving an awful lot because I'm just sitting here. But then you've also got your comfort mode, your sport mode and sport plus which takes your traction control off cruise control, speed limiter, so if you're conscious of going over 70 for example you can set the speed limit to 70 and then you'd never go over that, the car would keep you there until you turn it off. For example, see the green thing that's going up there towards the 70? So I can't go past that until I turn it off. On the other side got the volume for your entertainment and different modes so you can change what media you're using. Dual zone air conditioning with a digital display. It's also automatic as well so it keeps the temperature that you tell it to go to. Let's have a little look around your media interface. You can see that we've got your radio which is also DAB, digital radio colour screen sat nav within the settings you've also got a really handy feature which is a timed climate so say if I was getting up at 7 o'clock in the morning I'd set that and then the car would start its fans for me when I'm still tucked up in bed different driving modes different profiles so, Fast display of things you can do there. Vehicle status tells me if there's anything wrong with the oil or with the tyres, pressures, etc. And then on top of that, you've also got service history, which is a digital readout. SOS button just here. So if I am in trouble, I push that and it will connect me to emergency services. Plenty of space in glove box, including the owner's manual pack. I will also say at this point it smells fantastic in here. I don't think anybody smoked or had any pets in here. Auxiliary and USB port there. You've got automatic headlights, so pop it to the A, and then all you have to do is worry about your main beams, front and rear fog lights, 
automatic windscreen wipers on the other side for the indicators if you knock it down once it gives you a triple turn and then if you knock it down all the way obviously it keeps those indicators going for you this here is telling you that you are going into a battery saving mode if it goes up to that stage which is means you're driving extremely efficiently the miles per gallon is 67.3 under the bonnet that lifts the bonnet up and then if you do it again it releases the safety catch we'll have a look under there it's a lovely pillarless door frame here showing the glass really makes the car look fantastic twin power turbo a little bit about us then a little bit about us the car came in we did 160 points inspection get the car on the ramp we take videos of the car health underneath, take photographs, the wheels come off, we check the brakes, the discs, everything gets checked over very thoroughly. Then after sale it goes back again, we do that again. We give you three months for a thousand mile, full parts and labour warranty. Now you can extend that up to four years. It's £300 or £500 a year depending on the level of cover you wish to take out. If you like finance, we've got very competitive rates. If you've got to part exchange, we can help with that as well. We're open seven days a week. If the car needed an MOT, it's a third party company that does that for us. From your perspective, it's always a good thing that the pair of hands to scrutinise the car, making sure you get the best of the best. We're located in Barford, which is in Warwick. CV358 DS. As I said, my name's Tom. My father's called Kevin. He's the other salesman here. If this car does fit the bill for you, 01926 267 813. Thank you.